Hello. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to the Paul Robeson House. Yes. Uh, though for those of you, your first time here, how many of you, this is your first time here? Wonderful. Hopefully it will not be your last. We would like for you to become a stakeholder in the Paul Robeson House and help us to make history here happen. This house was built in 1911 by E. Allen Wilson, who was very famous during that time in building homes for the working class people. Um, people from all over the world were envious of Philadelphians who could afford a house of this type with the amenities of people of higher level income. Things that we take for granted, like hardwood floors, inside plumbing, and heating. The furnaces were inside. All of these things were new early in the 1900s. So we're very proud you're in a sacred place. Paul Robeson lived here with his sister the last 10 years of his life, during his twilight years. Marion Forsythe came here with her husband and her daughter in the early 50s. There's a rose bush in the garden that she planted that is still blooming. We had an artist, commissioned an artist, to do a rendering of the rose bush that we have on postcards. And also, there's a picture of it in the Paul Robeson room upstairs on the second floor. We invite you to go upstairs and uh, visit his room. And like most people who are sensitive to what Paul Robeson was all about, you will feel his spirit as you probably feel it now. And we just want to make sure that you understand that we feel as if this is a ministry for us. Uh, we have no money, okay? God blessed us to do this. And at another time, we will share with you how this happened. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time because uh, Dr. Henderson would like to get started with the program. But it's a compelling story. You need to know why we're here, why we don't have any money to do anything, and why we are blessed by God. And September 1, we will open again because we will be closed. This is the last program. We will be doing interior construction. We were in a court proceeding for five years. We couldn't raise any money, okay? It cost me from three to $6,000 a month to operate these two buildings. That's without salaries. So I just want to let you know that this is our responsibility. You know, if you want to make this happen, become stakeholders.